it's the how to say the exposure and the focusing so if you were pre-focusing somewhere you can keep the exposure no matter what happens so if something goes really fast if people walk in front sometimes the exposure is changing to a much brighter or much darker exposure if you want to prevent that you just block this with fn2 so if you have an exposure you press fn2 this green thing appears showing that the exposure is being blocked you just have to be sure that you switch it off again because it will remain until you switch off the camera then we have the autofocus illumination which is somewhere i always have to look this one a man not manual focus this one out of focus illumination so i switch that off this is the small light on the on the back which helps you focusing but is disturbing the people so you would not do that then we have another thing is the display grid info settings we have done you know, here you can say what you want to show when you look at your photos just the image the overall information the histogram and highlights and shadow light box is just a comparison between two pictures i normally don't use that the other one is the when you shoot then you have the histogram highlights and shadow when it's dark it's being blue when it's white it's being red just the image and the level so let me show you that when i shoot i can change from this is the histogram this is the highlights and shadow since my lens is covered everything is black and this is just a picture and this is the level the bad thing is that you cannot have the level together with the histogram but that's how it is then we have the display grid let me find it display grid there are different ones i choose the first one which looks like that you can hardly see it but it's a very thin grid helping you to either level your camera towards certain lines and also to do a right composition especially when he has to, to keep people on a third of the frame or i mean the, the main focus or the main subject on a third of the frame then we continue to backlit lcd Mm -hmm. can't find it the menu is quite convenient but if you don't use it all the time it's a bit